in, let's see what we get. Figure out what key it is. Ram charger update. The Harbor Freight 10 is holding up. All right, I got get a lot of wind out here. There's no trees, so it's kind of breaking down a little bit there. But I got the three-year warranty on it. All right, battery's in. I uh, got a dirt dauber clog off there. I've looked at it and has oil in there, and I'm getting ready to start it. It's been. I don't think I've really drove drove this thing in like uh, almost a year. Better part, and it's been in this tent all summer and coming on winter, and I think part of spring. So I got that over here fairly quick. I, I was using my dad's truck to move, got the move done. And the goal here is I uh, we're about to get some cold weather here, at least for my area. I'm going to get down into, I think 16, 16, 20 degrees, something like that. And my antifreeze is not, well, it's water with a little bit of green in it. So it's not quite on par. So what I think I'm going to do is just go ahead and start it, which is, isn't going to hurt anything to do that and get it up to temperature. Add some uh, antifreeze, just pure antifreeze in there to let that cycle. And then that'll get it prepped for winter. Uh, when I was driving it, it you know, wasn't a big deal. And last year, last February, when we had that cold weather come in, I parked it in the garage. So I didn't worry about it. All right, well, what I got is, got the battery, I need to hook it up. I'm gonna pour some gas down the carburetor. I've kinda of did a general look over to make sure nothing weird's happened, rats ate anything or nothing, so it, it should be good. So I'll see if I can set you up and do uh, some initial uh, crank up right here. Okay, I'm gonna add gas, I got the, uh, battery hooked up. I'm going to pour a little gas down in here just because I know it's going to need it because it's all dry. Probably have to do this a couple few times here until everything primes up. Open the throttle, let it drop down, set the choke. I don't have my automatic choke set up on it yet because it's driving it in summer. And let's see what we get. What key it is? Well, I didn't expect it to just bust right off pretty much, so that's that's good. Just go ahead and keep adding a little bit of gas because it's a mechanical fuel pump. I haven't got to pudding I probably need to wire that <laughs> or something but whatever it'll work Anyways, this is just going to be a rinse and repeat until the gas uh, picks up. So we'll we'll pick up there. I interrupt your video to bring you something special. That is a letter that I got from Wood and Metal Garage. So if you haven't seen what he's doing, uh, some of the content he does is mail call with Woody. He reached out to me and see uh, to get my address so he can send me something. Let's see what we got. I can get my hands to work over here. Okay, he sent me one of his stickers. So I'm going to respond to Woody, and if you want to know what my response is, you'll just have to watch 
Mail Call with Woody on Woody Metal Garage. Back to the scheduled programming. Well, that didn't take long. It's actually the next firing get it started up. I feathered the gas to get it going, and uh, here we are. We are idling. Uh, looks like it might need a little more gas, but. It's alive after months of setting. It's these things are just awesome. Uh, that's why I like a slant six. They're just they just simply work. Uh, now I have the, the that's not the factory carburetor on the slant six. That's that Holly 2280 off a uh, 318, like a mid 80s 318. And uh, I replaced my Carter BBD2 because this was a Super 6 with the two barrel intake manifold and all the Super 6 exhaust and two barrel BBD2. But my throttle shaft wore out and uh, it's getting a vacuum leak in there. So that's pretty much that's the end of that. That's why I have that one on there. And uh, it works. It just simply works. Don't work great, it just works. <laughs> okay, it's warming up. You see a little smoke in here just because it's. Oil's drained everywhere. It's it's just set. So uh, the other thing, my automatic transmission, the Poro 904, it leaks, and I think it's, it's set here and just leaked out all of its fluid. Uh, I cycled it through its gears. It's not attempting to go into gear, even though I left it in neutral to pump it, because a torque flight pumps only in neutral. Don't pump in park. So I'm going to get some transmission fluid down in there, and then cycle the transmission. Let it pick up all of its fluid. And then uh, make sure it's in good operating order too while I'm tinkering around with it. Now, wood, I'm going to take it outside, bring my tripod all, all over everything. Now, if we look down here, I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty muddy in this area. We'll get outside and kind of show you where we're at. I had this, you see, this is a little bit higher up because. This whole area here is a little bit higher. I wanted this to be my courtyard for my new home. And I put this there. However, all the drainage from here comes down to this area and it gets it all muddy. So eventually I want to move this little carport over to where the trailer is here and get that up on farmer ground until I can get that solved for drainage issues. So that's, that's kind of where we're at in the yard. And I think that'll do for, for now. I'll do another little update. But just a little bit of what's going on with the Ram Charger. All right, put a quarter transmission fluid, put a quarter transmission fluid in there and it's still not really reading on the dipstick tube. So it's probably just leaked a lot of it out. So I'll need to add more fluid to it to get the transmission to cycle and move. But that's not the goal for today. My goal for today is to get the engine uh, coolant system cycling. So I'm going to go put some antifreeze in there, start it, let it run a little bit, and uh, get to, get it to where it won't freeze over the next couple of days. And and honestly, it's winter. We're going to we're going to have cold weather, so I need to have that set to you know probably zero degrees from where I'm at, and it should be relatively good. Unless we had some weird storm like last year, where it got negative six, <laughs> but. Uh, generally, zero is good for my part. Anyways, that's what I'm doing today. So it's chapter five, got my questions answered. Now, Stu throws some stuff in there every now and then where you gotta ask someone else something that I'm gonna do tomorrow. So other than that, I've answered all my questions and read chapter five. Next week, I'm gonna start chapter six, under orders, right? And Stu probably uses that terminology because he's military, you know, I'm prior military too, so you all kind of get that right there. But uh, man in his leadership. So that's 
that's some pretty good stuff right there. I'm anxious to get into that. <laughs> 